Good morning and welcome to Island Adventures. What are we doing today, babe? It's a beautiful day and we're going to one of our favorite places, the Columbus Zoo. And we have one goal. What's that goal? We are going to see the sea lion show. We've tried probably three or four visits now. It's happening today. All right, let's go. So evidently, everybody had the same idea as Val and I. It is a gorgeous day to be here at the Columbus Zoo. I hope we get to see the sea lion show. We will. It's just, we just opened. A lot of people. They'll disperse. We'll be fine, huh? Yeah. So we have made it into Columbus Zoo. First thing we're going to do is see what time the sea lion show is so we don't miss it. Programs daily at 10 a.m. Let's do some other stuff. We'll come right back. We're walking through the tunnel, and we know what's at the end of the tunnel. Birds. I love birds. It's the Caribbean flamingo. Next stop, the aquarium, one of Valerie's favorite here at the zoo. Yay, the manatees! We'll see some fish first, but then the manatees! She loves her manatees. I wonder what we will discover here at the Discovery Reef. Ha! Pretty funny. Time to go see the manatees. Yay! Just a little tip. This is one of the emptiest places when the zoo opens. So if you like fish and aquariums, it's a place to do first. Never seen it open before. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's so nice. Never noticed that before. Something new we learned at the Columbus Zoo. Let's go see some penguins. There's some crawling around in there if you can see them. Well, that's Let's go around to the other side, see if we can't see some more. Folks, that is the first time that we've not seen penguins out swimming. Ah, another first here at the Columbus Zoo. That's not a good first. Well, after that minor disappointment, we're going back over to Adventure Cove, where the Sea Lion Show is, and check some of the animals out over there. 
Here comes a turtle. So Valerie and I saw that there was a line forming for the sea lion show already. So we're going to hop in because we don't want to miss it. We made it. We're gonna see the sea lion show. <laughs> So that show was actually really, really good. It was. It was cute. A must do here at the Columbus Zoo. So where are we going now? Well, somebody wants to go see some birds. That's right. There's an aviary back in Australia and it's been closed. We haven't done it since before COVID. So fingers crossed it's open. We're headed that way. Hopefully I get to feed some birds. I love birds. We are approaching Australia and I can already hear the birds. And you hear him singing. Hey. Let's, let's go. Okay. How excited are you, Ed? Very excited. A cup of nectar is three dollars. Do you have three dollars? I do. The key is ready, folks. This is Barbara's Laura Keat Garden. Ooh, he's ready. Alright. So when you're in here to stay on the path for me. This is a huge area. Are they? It's a huge area. They've got some. He's bringing the food to them. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. They're like not willing to fly for it. <laughs> Aww. I know, they're, ew, did that one just poop? I did not get it on camera. Spot out of the corner of my eye, gross. These are like the laziest birds ever. <laughs> Bring me the nectar. <laughs> I was so excited because I thought it would be a lot of birds on me, but not so much. Not at all. I like them to fly and land. Right, like they're eating the food, but only if you give it to them. Right. Okay, I finally got to feed the birds here at the Columbus Zoo, but it's pretty uneventful. They don't land on you or anything like that. Kind of like the wild. Or like Tampa. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. Bush Tampa. Gardens. Go back and watch that video. That was amazing. <laughs> gorillas, gorillas, gorillas. Everybody say it with me. Ed doesn't want to go, but I want to see the gorillas, gorillas, gorillas. Happy wife, happy life, Ed. I guess. Here we go into the Congo to see some gorillas like Valerie wanted. So let's go. We've made it. doesn't appear to be very many gorillas out this time of day but we do know from a zoo member that they are most active in the morning when the zoo opens at nine o'clock just so you know but we're in luck there's more gorilla viewing ahead this place is packed there's one over here a big inside viewing area of the gorillas. The cleaning people are out cleaning this area. It looks like all the action is happening over there, but I don't know if we'll be able to squeeze in. We will try. Just wait your turn. Patience. Oh, it's called patience? Patience. Bonobo. We got a big area out here. Go see some more around back. Unfortunately, there is none around back. Yeah, there's another spot over there. But there usually is. What'd you say? There's more this way. Okay. We'll see more bonobos. All right. So I forgot about this viewing area where they have them in cages up here. That's what Valerie was talking about. More bonobos. More bonobos. Looks like they're just resting. Getting some sun. And they're cleaning again. Hey Val. I got a question for you. What? How would you like to be the cleanup person? No. 
Not you. I love animals. I can never be a zookeeper because you have to start at the bottom and clean up the poop. Huh? Valerie is hoping to see one of her favorites here at the Columbus Zoo. What would that be? The O copy. All right. See if he's out today or she. Here's the Okapi. Uh -huh. It is he's out. To see me. Perfect. There you so, go. Sawing briefly. We got a glimpse of the Okapi. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Yep. Just kidding. Hit switch spots. That does it for a quick trip to the Columbus Zoo. What'd you think, Val? We finally saw the sea lion yes, show. Yes, we did. Yay. And, I, and I got to feed the birds. Yay. It was another fun trip like always. And as always, thanks for watching our videos. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.